beginning, Japanese public. So uh, as a motivation, um, there has been a long debate on uh, decent, decentralization. So how much power should be allocated to local government versus the central government? And uh, possibly shows that decentralization is good uh, uh, if uh, these parties compete each other in improving local public services and that leads to paradigm outage. But if there's a presence of spatial spillover of uh, one needs party into another that can lead to uh, insufficient allocation. As and as one examples in the uh, environmental economics, um, some like the foreign paper showed that uh, if you look at the case of an increase in local jurisdictions, for example, you can think about splits of counties or split of districts. Uh, as they show that that will have a negative effects on the environment, especially in uh, developing countries. For example, where you said now, look at the case of uh, Indonesia and uh, like split in a district will lead to more uh, criminal competition, resource extraction, lead to more deforestation. And the Nixon on Mubarak shows that uh, uh, district splits in Brazil will lead to more negative externalities along the rivers, uh, increasing the pollution. But there's less uh, research on the effect of opposite scenario. So uh, the effect of a decrease in local jurisdiction is the uh, versus of these parties, uh, which I'm going to focus on this paper. And so are we going to see the uh, opposite effect? So improving the environment or not is uh, what we are going to study here. And this question is important because uh, this means merchants are more increasingly adopted in developed countries, such as in Japan and oh, other European countries because there's a population decline in more Asian society, uh, especially in rural areas. So when thinking about the relationship between these merges of these bodies and environmental qualities, there can be many channels. So if you uh, ask for the positive effects, we can first think about the potential of internalization of negative sides. So the mayor after the mergers will to take care of larger areas and take care of larger populations, so that can lead to internalizing the negative societies. But on the other hand, for the negative effects, uh, uh, that, that could come from the coordination costs among pre merged these parties. So these party will merge together, and if there's a coordination cost among them, that will weaken the implementation of pollution control afterwards, uh, leading to worse uh, environment. And also, you can think about the unbalanced political power between pre merged and municipalities. For example, smaller municipalities might be reflected afterward after the municipal mergers, having more uh, pollution load there. And lastly, there could be a, a land usage change, uh, for example, more industrial activity or research area leading to new pollution sources coming from industrial wastewater, domestic wastewater. So, uh, the effect is ambiguous, so uh, we are going to examine the dominant effect and where the underlying effects is. So the research question is first, do municipal mergers mitigate or worsen rural pollution? And we find that actually municipal mergers increase rural pollution by 5.5% and that uh, persists for about 15 years. And as for the uh, second question, it's the mechanisms. And we find statistical evidence that coordination costs and unbalanced political power among these parties plays a important role. So uh, let me show you some background of the mergers uh, that happened in Japan, which uh, this paper uh, looks at. So this is the very large scale municipal mergers occurred in all municipalities, as in this uh, red uh, lines. And the number of municipalities decrease a lot from 3,000 to 1,700. And this is a nationwide uh, uh, kind of performance. And another characteristic is there is a deep variation in the timing of municipal mergers. Uh, this municipal mergers was a voluntary measure decided by each uh, municipality. So uh, there's a, a kind of variation in whether it's whether to implement the mergers or not, and also the uh, variation in the time, as shown in this graph. 
So we are going to use this fabric implementation in the difference in difference and events of the uh, specification. The, the outcome uh, we uh, use is uh, this water quality data. Uh, and especially we are going to look at the biological oxygen demand, which captured the total pollution level in the river. And that is provided by the mission environment. And this data set includes 3,000 monitoring stations as in this red dot across Japan for over 30 years. So the empirical strategy uh, we are going to adopt is the staggered difference in difference. Uh, the most simplistic way is to do the two effect, effect estimator where the outcome is log of VOD and there's a main treatment indicator measure uh, which is uh, always zero for never merging these parties. And for the merge needs parties, it turns into one after the merge uh, merger happens. And we, as you might know, recent literature in economics uh, shows that this simple two effects estimator can be biased in the presence of heterogeneous treatment effects across group and across time because of the back comparison. So uh, we, as a baseline specification, we use a newly developed uh, estimator, calorie and estimator uh, that is robust to this uh, negative weight. Okay, so this is uh, our main result. So uh, as in the panel A of column one, we find that municipal mergers increase real pollution by 5.5%. And the second column is just a robustness check, adding uh, controls, uh, uh, controlling for product shipping values and uh, population, but we still find uh, a comparable effects. And this figure shows the event study uh, results. So first we can see that uh, before the mergers happen, before the event time zero, uh, mm -hmm. there's no uh, differential effects. So this is encouraging in terms of uh, like parallel trends. And after the merger happens from this uh, event time one, uh, there's a statistical significant positive effect on DOD. So a higher DOD means higher water pollution. Uh, so there's a water pollution that persists for about 15 years. So this is not only short term effects, but kind of continuing uh, uh, kind of medium to long term. So what are the Kind of underlying mechanism of this uh, real pollution. So we uh, kind of examine three uh, uh, potential channels, and the first one is the weaker pollution control by these parties because of the pollution cost and kind of political uh, power. And we check uh, this uh, channel by heterogeneous effects by merger types and involve uh, kind of involve this party, which is, I'll explain in the next slide. And we think of this as a main channel, but we also uh, check other potential channels. So the second one is kind of inspired by the past studies, especially a we call Murak paper, which shows that splits will lead to uh, video pollution. So uh, the municipal merger should internalize, kind of have an opposite effect. Uh, but when we uh, run the same regression of the Lisa rack in this uh, Japanese case, we find no supporting evidence. So uh, we, we find this is not so much relevant in this case. And let's see uh, when we also check whether there's a land usage change after the mergers, and we find that uh, there are no effect on uh, in, increase in built up areas or you no know, decrease in the uh, forest area. So, uh, yeah, there was no, no effect. So, we think the first channel is the uh, most relevant one. So, um, let me uh, kind of explain a little bit about the types of mergers in Japan. So, there are two types. The first one is the equal footing mergers, um, which, is, which are the mergers of these parties on the equal footing. So on the equal basis, leading to a newly created means party. And in this case, the mayor will be kind of newly elected. So it's kind of <clears throat> kind of complete uh version. So it involves a higher pollution cost because if all means party will kind of uh equally involve a new mayor, so uh it's kind of it will be there. And the other one is the incorporating mergers or absorbing mergers, where a larger municipality incorporates the smaller surrounding ones. 
So in this case, the previously large municipality, the mayor in that municipality will continue to hold the position and the large municipality will take a lead after the merger. So it involves a lower congestion cost. And in this case, there are two types of municipality the, the incorporating municipality with a larger political power and incorporating smaller municipality with a smaller political power. And I'm going to uh, kind of look at the heterogeneous effects by merger types and evolving parties. So this is the result. And um, as you can see in this table, the negative effects on water quality is especially uh, concentrated in the case of uh, first column, the eco green merchants with larger pollution costs, but not uh, so significant in the incorporating mergers. And uh, also, the, uh, we find a positive sense significant effect in the incorporated municipalities, smaller municipalities with a smaller political power. So, we, uh, so this is just the heterogeneous <laughs> effects, but this is kind of solution evidence that coordination costs and maybe the uh, kind of balance of political power matters uh, as underlying things. So as a conclusion, first we find that these power merchants increase uh, real pollution by 5.5%, uh, and it's a lot, also long-term effects over uh, 15 years. And this actually runs counter to the negative externality narrative that is emphasized in the, the past studies, for example, this on the graph uh, paper. So as an alternative mechanism, we uh, find that weaker pollution control through pollution costs and political economic channels uh, matter. And lastly, the key takeaway is um, there could be more and more uh, municipal mergers in the future, uh, if there's a population decline uh, in the rural area and also in China as well. Um, so, in the cost benefit analysis of future mergers, we should uh, kind of incorporate this potential negative effect on um, the environment or uh, kind of uh, local public uh, service of the municipalities. And, this coalition class and political economic channel could also extend to other uh, policies uh, adopted by municipalities, for example, education policy, healthcare policy. So, we should um, also in the future study, we should also look, look at the potential negative effects on other uh, policies as well. Thank you very much.